I want to look at leading in some detail. Leading or line spacing. Now line spacing is the common term um, used in word processors, Microsoft Word, um, Pages, endless numbers of word processors. And it used to refer to the space between two lines when you had a typewriter, a manual typewriter, when you pushed the lever back and the platen moved up, it moved up one line. Now, typewriters had a fixed font, really. Well, the early ones certainly did, and that's where this come from. So line spacing was the amount of line, amount of line spacing between two lines of text on a typewriter. Things have moved on. We don't use typewriters anymore. Well, very few people do. Um, and if you try to use one, you'll probably find you get a little bit confused because you can't do all sorts of things on a typewriter that you can now do with something like Publisher. Now, Publisher is not a word processor. So nowhere over there will you find anything that looks like um, a, the word line spacing. Now, let me just turn on. I'll switch on. Bring up um, applications. I want to turn on my pointer up the top and the arrow. So now I've got an arrow on there. You can see where the uh, where the cursor is on the screen. So let's have a look over here. We're on characters, <clears throat> and nowhere on character does it say anything about line spacing but what it does say and if you're looking for line spacing oh help i can't find line spacing well here it is if you've got 12 point aerial 12 point regular which of course is the text that the thing is defaulting to now be careful with this because if you've been using other texts and fonts and sizes um, Publisher has the annoying habit of keeping those settings. So you might open a completely new document and find you've got the settings from the last document you are working on. Check it first. Doesn't take but a moment. Now let's see what happens. We need to type some text in there and we've got a blank screen here at the moment so we can't. We go over here. Frame text tool. And we put in a text frame. Ta-da! There we go. One text frame. Now we have margins. You can see your page width and your margin width. That's an A4 page, by the way, that I just set up. Simple A4. Now, we've got master pages over here and page one there. We don't need to worry about those at the moment. Because if you want the same line spacing... Let's call it line spacing so you know what I'm talking about. Throughout your document, set everything up in your master pages. And that way, if you do, if you type pages straight from that one, i.e. page 1, everything in page 1 will be what you've set in the master. But this is not a discussion about master pages. This is a discussion about leading and its relationship to line spacing. So, let's type in some text. This text is A-R-I-E-A-R-I-A-L. A-R, no E's, A-R-I-A-L. Regular 12 point kind of a... <coughs> kind of a default. Let's type in some more text so that we've got um, a few lines. Now, if you've ever done any typing school work, you'll know that the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog is very common. What you may not have heard is
that one. Now we've got two full lines of text there occupying nearly the whole width and you can change that spacing over here. Notice kerning, tracking, baseline and leading. That's not leading by the way. I know English is a weird language. It's leading. L-E-A-D as in lead. The lead you put on roofs. And it used to actually be lead. The old printers, newspaper printers, they printed with lead made letters. And the leading override or the leading between lines was a blank slug of lead that was hammered into the boards between the lines so that you had pr correct spacing in your newspaper. Okay, enough history. Shear, horizontal scale, vertical scale, and none. So you can experiment with all that. This is the one that we're interested in. Leading override. We're talking characters here. Don't confuse it with paragraphs. Completely different thing. We're talking leading space between paragraphs. Paragraph leading, you see. So it's a space between paragraphs, not between lines. Let's go back to characters. This is where our lines are. And our default text in there is... Let's put some dots there so I can see where my cursor is. That's as easy as that. Now this text is right at the top and it's really hard to see so let's move it down two spaces you'll see how many spaces did that go down your carriage return it took it down two sets of 12.4 what publisher does nice little publisher it takes your 12 point font and applies a multiple to it so that your line spacing or your leading is 12.4 points so it's the same width as your text plus a point four now this is a default it it applies across nearly any size font that we want to use let's highlight that piece of text we'll change the point size to 18 18 size now let's have a look at what's happened over here the leading is 18.6 so your default line spacing is always a multiple or fraction plus your point size Let's go down a couple of spaces, change that back to 12 point. Now 12 point's a fairly standard size. There's our couple of M's, that's the line we're on, just so you know where we are on that thing. A few more spaces. Now what happens, you might have noticed here, we've gone from 12 point to 18 point. It's set at 12 point there, 12.4 leading. The font is 12 point. It's 12 point up there because where the cursor is just there, I set it to 12 point. Let's go back to this one. You can see immediately it's 18 point. Aerial regular. The leading is 18 point. Hmm. So how does this affect us if we're doing things like A title. Now there's a title and because it just follows that one that we changed that's set to guess what Aerial Regular 18 point and it's a title the leading or line spacing that will apply to any subsequent text is 18.6 so we can take this text here. No, let's not take that text there at all. Let's type in a heading. 
18.6, you'll notice it's still 18.6. Press the enter key. The leading is 18.6. So although the text is 18 point, the leading is 18.6. So that adds that multiple. It's keeping track of it. Okay, let's have a look at this. You're probably, or possibly, or maybe you're not, wondering why I've got a calculator. Let's take the comments I added into the previous example. We'll take out that, and we've got Arial, regular 12 point, edit, paste. Now there's a whole raft of text. Now we know that bit. So we can take that out. And we can probably take that out. And we can leave that bit. No, we'll take that bit out too. You know about leading. Now that's the most important part. For most text, the optimal line spacing is between 120% and 145% of the point size. So if we've got back up here... If we've got 18 point text and it's 18.6 point line spacing, what does that work out to? Well, let's see if we can find out. What have we got up here? Aerial regular 12 point. Now, a carriage return is not um, a line of text. Now there's two lines with no carriage return. Think of a carriage return as a marker before a paragraph, perhaps. There's aerial regular 12 point, and it's 12.4. If we're going to do our calculation of ideal line spacing, we have 12 point text, times 120% gives us 14.4. Now you can see over here that the leading override is 12.4. Let's set that to 14.4 and see what happens to that line at the top. There we go. Now you can see that that line is much easier to read. Let's push it down a bit. separated, if you like, by a paragraph separation. And you can adjust your paragraphs as you like. What is the paragraph? Leading 12.4. So that paragraph is the width of a line of text. But we're not concerned about that at the moment. We're staying on here. Now, if that's single line spacing, 120% of your text, and this is these are industry standards, if you like, that certainly makes that a lot easier to read than what we have down here, which is 13 point text with 13 point leading, leading, sorry, falling into that trap myself. 
you can see that that text, if you've got a page of that text, that would be nearly impossible to read. So let's change it, shall we? That text there, let's make it Arial, A-L-M-N-O-P-Q, Arial, 12 point, and our recommended. You can see it's still quite difficult to read down there. Now the recommended leading is 14.4 for 12 point text, so let's make it 14.4. Now that's moved, that's got the text a lot more readable. There's much more space between those lines. Compare that to your 18 point text with 18.6 points, that's up here. Now let's clear our calculator. If you've got 18 point text and you want single line spacing between 18 point text it's 18 times 120 percent is 21.6 let's make that 21.6 21.6 and there you have much easier to read text Let's show you that again. Compare that to that. But you wouldn't want to be any smaller than 100, 120%. As it says here, 110, it's too tight. Let's drop that out. If you go to 145%, it may actually be too big for this text. So you have to be careful of your font size. Let's clear that. Take 12 points, multiply it by 1.45, which is the same as 145%, and you have 17.4. So there's our 12 point text, see it's still 12 point, but the leading is 14.4, let's make it 17.4, and that really is quite a big distance, but it certainly makes it easy to read, that's 145%. I would suspect that if you're looking at single line spacing, you're looking at 120%. If you're looking at double line spacing, which is what we have now, you're looking at 145%, because that's almost double line. If you wanted to take it one step further, and probably be really silly about this if you're determined to use line spacing, you can take that there, which is, what happened to it? There must be multiple fonts in there. It's Arial 12 point regular, and we want to set that to double line spacing. So double line is going to actually be 12 point twice of that, twice that, which is hmm, times 2, 24, 24 is going to be pretty horrible. There's 24 there. So that really is double line spacing. Now it's going to make, okay for, te for technical documents, okay for, um, okay for documents if you're handing in something to your lecturers. Now that's a good double line spacing text. But it's not pretty. 
That's a nice single line spacing, 18 point. Twenty one point six um, leading. This one here so far is the nicest. It's aerial regular twelve point and it's seventeen point four leading. Let's have a look at what happens when you change your font. Because when you change your font, as you can see, Arial Regular is almost a typewriter font. And probably is a typewriter font. Let's see if I can find a nice little font that I had before. Was using previously. Um, and what's the, what's the bet I can't find it again? There's Baskerville. Nice serif font. You can see it change over there. Apple Chancery. American Typewriter. Ah, this is annoying because I can't find a font I really would like. Black Pearl. There we go. Just wait till the computer catches up. Shouldn't take a moment. Didn't like scrolling up and down through those fonts, did it? There's Black Pearl. Oh, okay. Black Pearl 12 point. Now you can see that there. S-P-A-C-I-N-G C-S-S. You can see those words there. That's 12 point and it's gone to 24 point. Black Pearl, that type of font, it's 12 point font, which means it should be clear. 12 point font times 1.2, which of course is 120% equals 14.4. Let's see what it is at 14.4. 14.4. And it squeezes it up. Now it doesn't look too bad, but the, the trouble is if, if you were reading a lot of that, and you can see it's um, kind of jammed together because there's big letters and small letters, uppercase, lowercase, there appears to be, and there isn't, but there appears to be different size fonts in there. So let's increase the font size from above 14.4, 15, 16, 18. Now you can guess at this if you like. Let's leave it there for the moment, but we'll clear this, go to 12% times 1.45 which was the upper limit for single line spacing 17.4 that was pretty close to where we got to 17.4 now there's a much better line spacing you can see that you can read that much easier to read Yes, now that's 120 to 145 percent for single line spacing. Or what you might call single leading. You've got to vary the leading depending on your font. Not just the font size, but the type of font. You'll notice that font is still only 12 point font, but it's different font. It's different to that, it's different to that, and it's different to that. So, hopefully I've made it a little clearer. When you're looking for your line spacing, you're looking at your font size in relation to the type of font you're using. For instance, Black Pearl 12 point, 
which is quite nice. All of that is related to that. And your spacing is between 120 to 145, which is that line there. Let's make that particular one into 20 point. There we go. For most texts, the optimal line spacing is between 120% and 145% of the point size. Now, if you, if you actually need a lot of space between your lines, be careful you don't overdo it because it'll become unreadable.